Hello everyone, this is Shubhranil and today we are going to learn about how to export Excel uh, Oracle database data uh, from Oracle Forms to an Excel file. Okay, so we are going to export the uh, Oracle data fetching from Oracle database to a cursor uh, so for cursor loop and we will just uh, export it in an Excel file using an Excel application. So we are going to use one uh, package uh, just let me see. This package is <laughs> OLA2. Okay, I can see, and this have some uh, <coughs> specific <coughs> set of <coughs> procedures and functions. And we are going to use this OLA2. This this package is ex exactly used for to access Windows component or okay, Windows uh, application like Excel, Word, <coughs> PowerPoint, and other <coughs> Windows application. So we are going to use a Windows application and <coughs> we are going to invoke one class known as Excel.application with this OLED. So <coughs> I have just prepared my code and I will just go through the code and try to make you understand a little bit. So this is my code section. It is uh, done in the Win button press event and we have this set of declarations. <coughs> Here, what so just to go through what we have, we have declared some object here, okay, variable and object here. <coughs> we have a cursor for loop, and we have a set of procedures: one set cell value, one app init, and one save Excel. And this is our code block. Okay, this is actually generating the data. So what we have, we have one only two dot obj underscore type. So we have this OLE2.obj underscore type. So this is actually the object we are OLE object OLE2 object we are declaring. So we have some setup one application, one workbooks, one workbook, one worksheets, one worksheet, one cell, and these are the OBJ type. And we have also a list type which is unit ERG list. So application is actually creating the application which is Excel dot application which is actually the Excel dot exe application. Workbooks is actually the file. Okay, so it's a, it's a assembly file which you are creating and later on saving it. Workbook is actually the workbook inside the work in the file. So <coughs> whenever you create an Excel file, you select uh, create one workbook. Okay, so that is the workbook here. So you can add multiple workbook to our Excel workbooks or file. So this is a worksheets object and which actually what it does it can add multiple worksheet okay so the set of all the worksheet is known as worksheets is actually managing the worksheet and this is a worksheet this is the cell of uh, sheet multiple cells you know there are <coughs> lakhs of 10 lakhs of uh, uh, rows in your uh, latest uh, excel version and if you go to Excel 97 and 90 something like that, you can you find 65,536 rows. And column, you, you also have a multiple numerous number of columns, I think it's now, I'm not sure, I'll just see later on, we'll just uh, compute later on. So, ERG list, some argument list, we'll come to that. So, first, what the procedure we'll go through is app init. So, we are <coughs> creating the object with create obj. Invoking that Excel class as Excel dot application is creating the application and setting it the visible as true. You can also set it to true later on. Not now after you create the Excel file. So I just say set it to true to show you how the Excel file is created. This is the workbooks. We are just getting the object, the property of the object application. That is work. There is a property called workbooks. We are. We we're calling the get obj property which is returning the workbook subject and with that workbook subject we are adding a workbook to the workbooks okay so workbook subject is created and one workbook is added to that and after that we are invoking the worksheets property of the application which is returning the worksheets in the and assigning to worksheets and on that worksheets we are adding one one worksheet Okay, so and setting the renaming the setting the name of that worksheet as EMP under EMP sheet. Okay, so worksheet we are renaming the worksheet. Default name is sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. You know, when you you create a worksheet, it is a sequential number generated. So we are renaming it to EMP underscore sheet. So this is the 
we are initializing all the object and variable and object and after that we have this uh, set cell value which is actually setting the value of the cell of a current particular cell so creating the argument list so what is actually the argument list to it is adding a, a argument to the object okay so what is the argument one is row id which is the current row number and column id which is the current column number whichever cell you are selecting your current cell <coughs> it is just navigating to that cell with this row id and column id if it is 1 comma 1 it is setting to the first cell it is 1 comma 2 it is going to the second column of the first row and so on so we are in again getting the object property of the worksheet which is cells okay and with the arg list okay so what it is doing when you are passing the argument list and calling the cells of this worksheet it is actually getting that current cell with the index of reference of row id and column id if you set it one comma one it is returning that cell okay so that cell is assigned to this one <coughs> now what we are doing uh, this is a font property okay we will come to this later on Okay, so uh, okay, so we can just proceed here. So it, uh, I'm just calling the invoking the font property of this of that current cell of that cell where the currently the uh, the, the it's pointing. So, so the cell object is pointing to that current cell one comma one. So it is returning the object font property of that of the, of that current cell. Okay, it is destroying the argument list. <coughs> now it is setting all the property to the cell. Okay, now uh, that one comma one cell, we have the cell value which are passed here. We will go to that code block the, at the bottom and we will see what cell value we are sending. We are sending the uh, setting the property of the font uh, cell font size that is 16. We are setting the from bold property to one. One one means bold, zero means not bold. I mean unbold. Okay, and we are getting the color index as seven. So you can also change the color index. It is actually taken from VB application VBA, and the color index, basic color index, is from zero to fifteen. Okay, so you can try with, with zero is black, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever index is blue, green, red. Okay, so <coughs> now we come to the save Excel. So save Excel is to, uh, I will come to the save Excel later. Okay, let's let us move to the code block. So we have the app in it, which is initializing. I told you, it's uh, creating all the application object. Okay, and renaming the sheet, and we are setting the row num. We have the row num uh, number and call num number here. Row num equal to one. Call num equal to one. Set cell value. Row num. Call num. Okay, EMP code. So I told you the cell value here. Okay, so cell value cell value okay so cell value is set to emp code okay so value is actually the value of the cell okay so value which is displayed on the cell so we have set as emp code that is actually we are creating the headers here okay so headers is emp code then see we have uh, just created uh, just make it a little specific so one not implementing two and oh sorry one this is two and this is three okay so uh, at one comma one it is emp code at one comma two it is emp name at one comma three it is data code okay now uh, let us just uh, go to a little bit on the declaration section and we are going to the cursor mode. okay so there is a cursor declared cursor make is there is a table called employee master i'm not going uh, detail to this and, and take a treat field what is emp code emp underscore emp underscore name and i want date of birth which is been converted to a date format as ttml okay and we have said the word date of birth is not null. okay so we can get all the data which, which have the date of birth okay <coughs> so we are uh, uh, starting our cursor for loop for i in red loop okay and incrementing the row number so row number becomes two and call number again one so at two comma one we are setting the emp code value at two comma two we have set the emp name value and two comma three we are setting the data box again row number incremented to three so so, so on three comma one three comma two three comma three and then four five six so whatever data you have until <coughs> the last row is fetched okay 
So save in the Excel, uh, the path is D Excel export and name of the file is MP underscore data. So then we are releasing the object from the middle. So we are closing all the <coughs> okay, releasing object means the task is finished and the application is removed from the which I will remember. Okay. So for this Excel task in forms. Now go to the save Excel. We have uh, we are releasing the <coughs> worksheet here, worksheets here, and if the path is not null, we are creating the argument list, we are setting the argument, that's the path of the file name and we are invoking one function called save as okay so that time we are getting the object property okay and now we are calling one function save as is a function which you need to invoke with the OLT package from the OLT package and sending the argument list which is the path and after that destroy the argument list <coughs> so this way we are saving the file now let us run this and see what okay I have some problem with this Okay, so I just provided the three here. So clicking on the create Excel and now see what stuff is coming out. Now they see this Excel file here. Maximize it. Okay, see, it's a, it's a, what is this color? Magenta. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Maybe it's magenta. Okay, I think it's sign. No, sign, not sign. It's magenta, I think. <coughs> so we have the date of birth. Let us expand the cell here. Date of birth and AP code. So you can see the, so let us uh, do one thing more and change the color. So close this one and just move to the bottom. Uh, not bottom here. So this is seven. We make it four. So let us check what color is coming with what we have given four. Okay. So with the four we have here, yes, gray. Okay. So this is all about our excel okay let us just generate this one and let us see is there some error here i think there is an error okay so let us generate once again i think i have created the um, click the close button which actually created the error so Yep, I uh, click the close button, which actually just uh, interrupted the task, and now it's going on. So let us finish the task and see whether the file is saving or not. I just invoke the save Excel function. <coughs> just expand this. Okay, Excel export. Okay, so it's coming 309. Okay, so that means EMP underscore data is not taking. It is just converting it to some numeric value. Okay, so 309 dot Excel. I never mind. I, I need to save the file and it is already exist because I have generated it before. So click on yes. It saved. Saved. Okay. So so this is our port. We have. Uh, Set cell value, I told you, app underscore init, initializing the Excel object and setting all the workbook and worksheet, save Excel file, saving the Excel file, invoking the save as function, uh, in the function of workbook. And this is the begin block section, which is actually running a cursor loop and setting all the cell values. 
with the and in the cell value you have this font proper font object property which is actually changing the size setting the bold property to true you can also set one italic property I'm not going to that you can just copy this and paste this and make it italic okay so I'm not going to that so you can also make the header column as bold and the rest of the thing non bold you can have to just set a flag here and set the flag true first and then set it false for the rest of the rows and columns. So that's all about the tutorial. I do hope you like this video. I just set this, upload this code in a text file to a, my Google Drive. You can download it from there. I just shared the public link and go through the code and if you have any query, you can do, do comment on my video. You can ask me anytime and just reply you as soon as possible. So please subscribe to my channel that is CPHRO19776. Thank you very much.